In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly foam roll your popliteus muscle. Dr. Jordan Fairley, what the heck is the popliteus muscle? The popliteus muscle is a little tiny muscle on the back side of your knee in the popliteal fossa. This is a little muscle that helps internally rotate your tibia, your lower leg bone, and it's super important for people who are getting knee pain as well as possibly tingling or numbness into the foot. This popliteal muscle rotates the knee in and a lot of times if people have fixation in their foot or within the relationship of the tibia and femur, this muscle which is trying to constantly rotate the knee inward gets over tightened and stretches and can be one of the main contributors to knee pain. There's also the tibial nerve and the popliteal artery which go right beneath or underneath that popliteal muscle and then innervate the bottom of the foot and into the leg. So some people, if you're getting tingling or numbness sensations in the foot, this could be due to a really tight popliteus muscle which is compressing on top of that nerve or artery. So I'm gonna show you how you can use a foam roller to break up those tight muscle tissues which can help you get out of knee pain as well as possibly relieve the tension on those popliteal arteries and tibial nerves. All right, so in order to properly foam roll your popliteus, you're gonna need a foam roller and a place to foam roll. This is one of the most common things I see that people can do on their own if they're having medial knee pain. So let's grab our foam roller, place it on the ground, and you're gonna put this right beneath your kneecap. So in that groove, that pocket on the backside of your knee is where that popliteus muscle is. So you can place your foam roller right on top of that, and as you take a huge, deep, diaphragmatic breath in, maintain that space in order to create intra-abdominal pressure to protect our spine and pelvis. You can then lift your body up, causing more pressure beneath your, your knee and the foam roller, and just this alone, adding compression could be enough to start to break up these tight muscle fibers. If you wanna add even more compression, you can put your other leg on top of your knee, which will add more weight, compressing even more, and then in this position, roll very lightly up and down. The popliteus tends to be extremely tender if it is really tight. And so be careful as you do this. Don't rub around vigorously to irritate the tissues even more. But if you find a really tight spot, then you can do some transverse friction massage. So you're gonna be going back and forth this direction in order to break up those tissues. So as I put pressure down, I can go back and forth, breaking up some of those tissues and go forward and backwards really slowly. If you want to get in there even deeper, we're gonna ditch the foam roller and use our thumbs. So in order to do this, I want to lengthen that muscle by straightening the leg out, and then you're gonna use your thumbs right behind that popliteal fossa, right up under the kneecap, back here on this back side, at the top of your calf, lower part of the hamstring, and you're gonna push up. As you push into that tight, tender spot, then you're gonna to start to bend your knee, which is gonna lengthen the popliteus muscle underneath your thumb, so you're getting more of that pin and stretch. You can try to do this on the foam roller also. I think that your thumbs tend to be a better way to get nice and deep in there and break up this really tiny muscle. But as you do this, I would like to encourage you to guide your tibia into internal rotation. So going inward this direction to help aid in that muscle starting to break up in its, for, in its natural form, the direction that we want it to go, so the direction of correction. As you do that, get back on the foam roller, break up some of those larger fibers so you can go a little bit lower into the calf, so lower down closer to your foot, or you can go um, lower hamstring insertion closer up towards your glutes and start to break up both sides of that popliteus muscle. But this popliteus muscle, again, is one of the major contributors to knee pain and possibly even tingling and numbness into the foot. So that's a simple strategy that you can do. Try it at home. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Again, my name is Dr. Jordan Fairley. I hope you find this information valuable. Please share with your friend, and I look forward to seeing you soon.